Yeah, we are looking at Melissa. Melissa forecasts to become a Category 4 hurricane eventually in the Caribbean. Right now, it is a tropical storm. It's still really struggling. It's really only, although it looks impressive on the satellite loop, it's really only half a storm. The, the center of it is right here. So most of this is just partly sunny and pleasant weather. All the winds and all the rainfall are on the eastern side of this and a little to the south and a little to the north, just right along the coastline of um, the Dominican Republic and Haiti. Uh, there's a better look at it. This is uh, the uh, once as, as the sun uh, sets, we're going to lose this image, but this is a visible satellite loop. And you can see that low level spin, which honestly doesn't look all that impressive either. But it is forecast to become a category four hurricane that would happen early next week, Monday at 2 p.m. So as it makes its sharp left turn uh, into the Western Caribbean late weekend, it starts to intensify. So it's got a few days here and it's a very slow moving storm. It's over some very warm water. Uh, it has uh, all the opportunity, low wind shear or just a light wind shear environment. Uh, so it has a, a couple of uh, boxes ticked for strengthening uh, through the week and into at least the early weekend before it really starts to explode. We have hurricane watches and tropical storm watches in effect for some of those Caribbean islands and with the model tracks all over the place. Uh, they are um, they're having a tough time latching onto this. Some of some models uh, try to strengthen it a little faster and take it across Haiti and the Dominican Republic. Other models taking it across Jamaica are very close. And then there are other models still like the the Canadian that wants to bring it into the western, total western Caribbean and then turn it across Cuba after that. There are no indications at this point, this is very important, that um, there are no indications that it would have an impact on Florida. It is definitely one to monitor, but at this point, we, there's, there's not a model or two that shows it uh, coming into Florida or having any kind of, even an indirect impact here, which is good to see. If that changes, we will let you know. The hurricane hunters have been flying through it during the day. There's that center right there, that's where they drop that drops on the weather instrument in the center of the storm so you can see how far to the west uh, that that it is in the um, in the Caribbean